Have you ever wondered how data gets its ticket to ride through the vast landscape of analysis and insight? Well, that's what we are diving into today, data ingestion. What is data ingestion? Imagine you have got a whole bunch of letters to send out. Now, before they reach their destinations, you have got to put them in the mailbox, right? Data ingestion is like a mailbox for data moving from source to destination. In the context of data engineering, data ingestion involves collecting the data from diverse sources and consolidating it in a centralized location. How does data ingestion fit into the broader data life cycle? Remember various stages of data life cycle? Data ingestion takes center stage during the collect phase, which moves the data from its origin into your data landscape. Why it matters? Imagine sitting on a gold mine, but not having the tools to mine the gold. That's what happens with data when it's not ingested. Without ingestion, data remains unrefined and underutilized. Data not ingested is the potential untapped. Just as mailboxes serve different purposes, data ingestion varies in its approach. Two types of data ingestion are typically seen. One is batch processing and the other is stream processing. Batch processing is similar to organizing a bulk shipment of packages to be sent out together. In the realm of data, this means gathering information over a set period, daily, weekly or monthly and then processing it collectively as a single large group at a regular schedule. This method is efficient for large-scale data operations, allowing for comprehensive analysis and system resource optimization during off-peak hours. Completing a batch processing task often signals the readiness of the data for further analysis or reporting. On the other hand, stream processing is like a mail carrier that delivers letters the moment they come in, constantly and immediately, much like a stream of water that keeps flowing without pause. In data terms, this means capturing and analyzing information instantly as it's created. Data flows continuously like a reverse constant stream, allowing immediate action on insights gained. Stream processing facilitates a dynamic, responsive data strategy where the immediacy of data handling is paramount. Now that we understand the basics of batch and stream processing, let's explore how they differ in practice. These distinctions are crucial because they help us determine which method best suits our data needs. Regarding data handling, batch processing works with finite data sets, meaning that the system knows how much data it needs to process at one time. In contrast, stream processing handles potentially infinite data streams, continuously processing data as it arrives without waiting for all pieces of the batch to be available. Speaking of latency, higher latency is typical in batch processing since the data is not processed in real time. It's processed after the data has been collected over the specified period. On the other hand, lower latency is a crucial feature of a stream processing since it's designed to process data immediately as it becomes available. Scalability. Batch processing scales vertically, often requiring powerful machines to process large batches of data. Whereas the stream processing scales horizontally usually relying on distributed systems to process data across multiple nodes. To simply put, vertical scaling involves adding more power to a single machine, while horizontal scaling involves adding more machines to work in parallel. Complexity Batch systems can handle complex operations as they have more time to process the data and are not constrained by the need for immediate output. In contrast, stream systems can be complex 
due to the need to manage the state and ensure data integrity in a real time environment tools tools like apache spark can handle both batch and stream processing they are fundamentally different in their operation with stream processing being a continuous process and batch processing being an intermittent one looking at its use cases batch processing is ideal for non time sensitive tasks such as daily sales reports monthly financial reconciliations or batch updates to a database while stream processing is suitable for time sensitive tasks that require immediate analysis and response such as monitoring stock prices real time social media analytics or detecting fraudulent transactions as they happen ensuring that the most current data is always at hand for decision making so when to choose what choosing between batch and stream processing boils down to what you need if you have to make decisions instantly like catching fraud as it happens stream processing is your go to but batch processing is the way to go if you are dealing with lots of data that can be looked at later like a daily sales report time to talk about the challenges of data ingestion high volumes of data can strain storage systems and impact performance if not managed correctly additionally data is being generated at unprecedented speeds particularly from real time sources like iot devices and online transactions processing this data quickly enough to generate real time insights can be difficult as data grows the ingestion process must scale accordingly this requires a system that can handle increased loads without degradation in performance managing the costs associated with large volumes of data can be a hurdle especially for organizations with limited resources the ingested data often needs to be integrated with existing data warehouses databases or data lakes requiring careful planning and execution to avoid disrupting existing operations addressing these challenges requires a strategic approach to data ingestion these approaches include using cloud storage services and elastic compute services cloud storage services offer scalability to handle increased data volumes without significant capital expenditure on physical storage infrastructure similarly using elastic compute services that can automatically scale processing power up or down based on demand thanks for joining me and remember ingestion is your starting line in the world of data ready set analyze